The pension system is a national policy usually being introduced in form of a fixed amount by either government or a company to their employees, having considered serving the company or the government for a long period of time. So now, towards the end of their life, the government or the company will now take care of them. There are so many types of pension, but the broader ones are the defined contribution and the defined benefit. For the last one, defined benefit is the one that was been in operation uh, prior to 2004 when the Pension Reform Act introduced contributory pension scheme. And many states and local governments of Nigeria still remain under this defined benefit pension scheme. When you look at this from Sharia perspective, this type of pension scheme has no much Sharia implications because what is given by either the government or the company is a benevolent gift from the employer to former employee. So it is a contract of benevolence, that is contract of tabarro. So even if there is uncertainty in age, it will not affect or it will not relegate its permissibility. The second type is the one that is being introduced by the contributory pension scheme, which is called defined contribution. This one has so many implications because there is a fixed amount being contributed and it is usually managed by the private sector. And you are going to be given something out of what you deposited or what is being deposited on your behalf. So this type of pension scheme is the one that is being adopted or introduced by Pension Reform Act to mitigate so many problems associated with the pension system in the country, uh, which includes non-budgetary provision, delay in payment. We've seen so many instances where retirees or former civil servants got paralyzed because of the issues related to pension. So this, what, this is what necessitated a reform where a Chilean model is brought in 2002 and between 2002 and 2003. Then later, Pension Reform Act came into being, which become from there become mandatory for all employees in the federal government. And some states also replicated it and domesticated these laws. The Act itself established a regulator, which is called PENCOM, Nigerian Pension Commission. And there are pension fund administrators who are the administrators of the funds. And there are pension funds custodians. Then there are retirees or RSA holders, retirement savings account holders. The Pension Reform Act 2014, as amended, provided that pension funds assets are to be invested in federal government bonds, treasury bills, related securities, quoted bonds, deposits securities, quoted investment certificates, real estate investments, and other specified securities and equities that are to be certified or to be introduced by the regulator, which is the Nigerian Pension Commission. The major issue, Sharia non-compliance issue, is associated with these investment portfolios, which are typically conventional and they are interest-bearing facilities. Therefore, what this is telling you is that a retiree is now being introduced and subjected to leave at the end of his life on the proceeds of interest. To say in another word, whoever is placed on this conventional system towards the end of his life as he is getting and drawing closer to his grave, he is now going to be living on the proceeds of bonds, debentures, treasury bills, and other conventional and interest-bearing instruments. The identified elements of prohibition are one, riba associated with these facilities, two, gharar, which is uncertainty. You know riba and gharar are the two major prohibitions 
in Islamic economics. Anything that has to do with riba, gharar, uncertainty, speculation is not allowed in Islam. So also dealing in some equities of some companies that are dealing in non-sharia compliant instruments, in haram instruments, because there is no restriction or no discrimination. Any equity of any company can be traded in as long as it satisfies the financial requirement or capital requirements of the exchange platforms of NGX or any other OTC platform. So therefore, all these necessitated reform in the pension sector or necessitated need for alternative, at least for the people who are very conscious of their source of income to be in line with the basis and fundamentals of their belief.